Hello, everybody. You know, I was just asking myself the question this morning, uh, a question about photography again. Uh, and that is, do you really need the latest, greatest, uh, uh, very expensive equipment to get good image quality? And the answer to that question is, of course, no, you don't. Uh, if you just go to Flickr or PBase or any similar site, and you can search by camera the latest images that are being uh, uploaded to the site, and you will find out there are plenty of people around the world that are getting outstanding images with, uh, with point-and-shoot cameras, with digital SLRs that are uh, four, five, six years old. Uh, you don't need the latest, greatest equipment to get good images. You just don't. Um, so, uh, you know, that being said, I think you probably need a good lens to get better images and it really helps to have a good sensor with good ISO sensitivity and a good ISO range um, and then really good knowledge and composition and lighting and the, the fundamentals of photography. You know, that is really what it takes to get good images, you know. So, anyway, I was going through my closet this morning, and I found the only digital camera that I ever really kept from my uh, early days uh, when, I got, when I really got back into it heavily. Now, I bought one before this. I don't remember what it was, but I bought this one either at the end of 2001 or uh, in 2002. I can't remember. Uh, it might have been the beginning of 2002, and at the time, this was a top-of-the-line Olympus C720 Ultra Zoom, or UZ, and it had an 8 times optical zoom. It's a 3-megapixel camera. Uh, the first incarnation of this was a 2-megapixel camera, and technology was improving at such a rate that they announced the C720 as opposed to the C700 uh, as a 3 megapixel because the 700 was a 2 megapixel. So technology was really rapidly improving at this time and uh, some of the specs on this camera it records to smart media cards. This particular card is a 16 megabyte smart media card uh, they don't make those anymore, so I'd have to go to eBay or some other such site if I wanted to actually get a larger card. They come up to, I think, 64 megabytes and maybe 128 megabytes. I'm not sure about that. Uh, it has about a 1 inch LCD screen. It has a viewfinder. Um, does have a regular mini USB just like my Canon 7D has. So uh, I'm able to transfer images to my computer, DC in, TV out. It has a tripod mount. It runs on four AA batteries. The lens is actually uh, not too bad. It's a you know like I say, an eight times optical zoom. It uh, goes from f 2.8 to f 3.4, depending on your zoom range. Uh, so you know there's no optical stabilization uh, at all so most photos you take if you zoom in at all are blurry you really can't avoid it unless you're out in glaring sunlight you're gonna have blurry pictures so I thought I would uh, try one out in these lighting conditions I'm gonna try to throw it in aperture priority mode here and uh, see if I can fire off any kind of a decent picture. I'm going to throw it in aperture priority mode and uh, see if I can shoot at f2.8 and I'll zoom in a little bit and that will move up. Now the ISO range of this camera, listen to this now, the ISO range is 100, 200, or 400. That's the ISO range. 
So right now, I've got it in auto, and I'm going to go ahead and fire off a picture here. F3.2 at one half a second. Okay, I think that's blurry. Maybe I should use the flash. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you those, uh, those files. Uh, you know, it's something to consider, guys. When you're buying equipment, you know, I guess there's a whole bunch of different ways you can look at it. Maybe buy the highest end equipment you can so it lasts as long as, as possible. Maybe buy mid-level equipment so you can kind of have the best of both worlds without spending too much money. Or buy uh, the lower, the cheaper equipment. So when it's obsolete or when something newer comes out in a couple of years, you don't have any problem upgrading. You know, you can look at it any number of different ways. But it is something to consider that this is where we've come from in eight years. And where are we going to be in eight years from now? You know, it, it's, it's crazy. You know, we're obviously not going to be anywhere near where we're at here in eight years. So it's, you've got to consider it when you're buying new equipment. Uh, you know, it's something to think about at least. I thought it was interesting to see this and to play with it a little bit, so I thought I'd share a little bit of it with you. Hey, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.